we go, and we run away from it now. Nice. Welcome back, folks, to episode 29 here in Conan Exiles on our official server. We're going to do a few things here quick. So if you look at the top right corner, I'll put my handy-dandy blue arrow up there. Uh, we got a few things to do on Journey today, guys, and I really want to do... I want to get more than one today in this episode, I'm hoping. I think... If I'm correct, I can do two of them with one deal and Sunder an enemy too yet. But first, we're going to have to go in to our, let's see, feats. Because I don't think I learned the explosions deal yo. All right, let's go over to explosion dealio. That's actually what it's called too. <laughs> Explosion thingy doodler of justice. So we got 30, I think it's like 35. Oh no. Am I wrong? I'm so wrong. Alright, where is it down here in the 35s? Um, oh, there it is. And I need uh, the pot thingy doodler of justice. All right, give me a second here, folks. Trying to find it. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. To be honest, it's been a while since I've done this, too. Um, there's a few reasons. Uh, one of the things is this is kind of how you collect. Uh, you can collect star metal this way. And I haven't done that in a long time because I normally use black ice. So where did that say, I'm sure it's the alchemy bench. Let's go over to the alchemy bench and look at that. All right, or let's run around the base like a moron a few times. There we go. That's kind of what works for me. Demon fire, water orb, and gland. We have glands. Now we just sorted out our chest last episode. So this is gonna be great. Uh, miscellaneous resources. Yes, we have this. And do we have, I was wondering if we just had any already crafted water orbs. Uh, don't look like so. So we got to see what it takes to make a water orb again. Um, let's see. Water orb. Oh, an acre. Oh, well, we have that. So let's craft up like 10 of them so we have them. All right, let's put this in here. <clears throat> and we're going to craft up these demon fire thingy do er, doodlers. Uh, demon fire orb, sorry. Um, the uh, getting a little crazy with the thingy doodler thing. I'm trying to limit it a little bit. <laughs> don't want to annoy you guys here. So there's three. We'll get them crafted up, guys. I'm going to look at some other stuff while we're here, too. Uh, maybe some other explosive stuff. And maybe try out doing all of them with you guys. So give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. While we wait on that stuff to craft up, we're going to do the Sunder one. And uh, basically, your uh, weapon or your hammer weapons are gonna have sunder if you look on there under uh, armor penetration it says high grade weapon and sunder so we're gonna go grab let's see here let's grab this guy just to bring him with and we're just gonna walk right down here should be pretty easy there's normally a guy yep right down there and we're just gonna go sunder the crud out of him all right, should only have to hit him once or twice. Oop. All right, you got to get out of my way, buddy. There we go. We got him. All right, let's pull out the dragon and finish him. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got that one out of the way. And I'll be right back. 
Okay, guys, if you didn't know, these take Reagan powder, and uh, these are very not cheap. <laughs> uh, the Demon Plot isn't too bad, but normally it's 100 Steel Fire, but we got the Witch Doctor, and 100 Steel Fire is not necessarily the easiest thing to come up with here, folks. So what we're going to do now is while we have one of these, we are going to go ahead and craft up a uh, explosive jar here. It's way down in the Ingram list. I wish all the building stuff had their own, uh, own deal. Oh, I need to make an earthenware jug. I thought I had one. What is this? Oh, it's a large earthenware one. All right, so let me go craft that, and I'll be back. Okay, so these earthenware jugs are pretty cheap. We're going to craft up four. Right? No, oh, well, I guess I only needed three. All right. And then we need, I think we needed some tar, actually. And I think we're good to go now. We can craft up a few of these. And do some explosions. I wish I had fireworks in Conan. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, that's a random thought, but I always, I always like, I always like fireworks in games, whether it's Ark or Minecraft or any other series we do. Oh, did I go buy it? No, I don't think so. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm such a dope. All right, and we got craft three and actually I think we're gonna make one of these guys and try to lure them into the, something into a trap if we got time here folks give me one second okay here we go we're gonna craft one of these up as well uh, and go with this and craft this we got that up so let me get the stuff to rather the D and we'll do some explosions There we go, and we run away from it now. Alright, so I did put in a little clip of it, but that's all it saved for some reason. My PlayStation's acting up. Anyway, so here we go, guys. We're going to place it down, and if you don't know how to use these, you just hold on them, and you can hit interact, but then you got to run. And we're going to look back so you can see it. Otherwise, you'll kill yourself. If you're on PvP... You can actually shoot arrows at them. It does not actually work on PvE though uh, to shoot arrows at them or hit them with a weapon. But on PvP you can. Here you got to do it that way. And we got it. The only problem is guys, I did not realize how long this episode's run. So the next episode we're going to try to use these just to try them out. And maybe use them to get go get star metal too. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Have fun.